No doubt about it. It was a hot night last night, but folks, we finally got a race in down at the Terre Haute action track. Race fans and racers got much needed, a much needed fix, speed, lots yep. of action, and yes, the flying dirt. And finally, I was not a bad guy in this whole equation. Rain did not threaten the race. That's great news out there for us. The last several races were canceled, of course, due to rain. As you can see here, there was a big crowd for the Don Smith Classic. This race was part of USAC Sprint Week. Four heat races took place before the feature, and Kevin Thomas Jr. claimed the checkered flag and bragging rights for finishing first. Congratulations goes out to him and his team. I love to hear that sound. Well, now let's quickly look ahead to the next scheduled event, and that's the Jim Herdebees Classic. It's going to take place on Saturday, August 31st. USAC Sprints and UMP Modifieds will take to the track for that event. Now, Jim Herdebees has since passed away, but he definitely made a name for himself competing in several different racing series, including the Indianapolis 500. Do you know that? I did not know that. Well, my daddy introduced me to Jim several years ago down at the Tarot Action Track, and here's something that you may not know about him. In 1964, he suffered serious burns in an accident. The doctors asked him how he wanted his hands permanently shaped, and his reply, just make them so I can still hold a steering wheel. And guess what, folks? They did talk about dedication to the sport of racing, and I believe he was in the Indianapolis 500 10 times. Very interesting. But fact. just, just a, one of the fan favorites and sure. um, just a real nice gentleman. And it's always great to see that they have that classic each year. Yeah, and I'm glad that the race fans here in the Wabash Valley had a good night for that last night. Oh, 